For any of you who use impact wrenches, you might have the same issue as me, which is the friction ring. If you have an impact wrench that uses a friction ring, wears down over time. And when you put the sockets on, they don't hold very well. They fall off easily. And that was the case when I was using this impact wrench on my lug nuts. Every time I remove a lug nut uh, the and I, and I take the lug nut out, the socket comes off with it. So it should be a time saver, but if I'm taking this off, putting it back on every single lug nut, uh, it's really not saving me a whole ton of time. So the culprit here is a broken or worn down uh, friction ring. And so I'm gonna show you how to replace this today so your impact wrench can be holding sockets properly as they should be. We just need a couple of things to replace the friction ring here. So this is the new part that I bought. Here's the O-ring, here's the retainer uh, clip or the snap ring. I've got some channel lock snap ring pliers. This isn't totally necessary, but I find it's helpful. I've got a pick and then of course the half inch impact wrench. So I'm gonna show you how to replace this with just a few simple items. Oh, the last thing is rubber wash glove. One that we use to wash dishes. Basic tools that you have around. Like You don't need to use the uh, channel locks. You actually don't even need the pick, but I find these things will make my life just a little bit easier. And so I'm gonna use them. If you find this video helpful, please remember to hit the like button and definitely encourage you to leave comments, any questions you have or suggestions to make this a better process. And feel free to smash that subscribe button if you want to be notified of more DIY and how-to videos. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the O-ring here with my snap ring pliers. Push firmly, spread the O-ring open. All right, there's the old friction ring, there's the old snap ring, and we're gonna replace those with new pieces. We're, so now we're gonna put that new little O-ring as well as the new um, snap ring or retainer ring onto the impact wrench. So first step is you take the new one. Let's see if I can show you that there. Take the new one, and you're just going to basically nicely Stretch it out so that you can get it, you can get it on there, just like so. Now I cleaned it up a little bit first just to make sure it was, there was no dirt or anything like that inside it. And then now step two is you're gonna put this snap ring or this retainer ring back on. Now this part's a little bit tricky because this is a metal ring and the way it's done, you kind of want to snap it on. It does require some force, but also you don't want to wreck it. There's a couple of different ways you could do it. One. You could basically point it down, do this, and then hammer the back a little bit, and that'll get it mostly on. And then you, and then at that point, you just basically ease it around there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a rubber glove that's going to aid me with this. As you can see, I've just got a basic rubber glove that you'd use for washing dishes and such. And I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna square it up as best I can. And then I'm just going to give it a shove. And then as soon as you do that, you can see that it's mostly on there now. And then so I just use the rubber glove to basically snap it a little bit further. And then all you have to do at this point is you basically just need to tuck it a little bit further without, without wrecking it, of course. So I just use this pick and I just push it down ever so slightly and you can see it's now perfectly in place. And here's one of my impact sockets. And as you can see now, it's not gonna fall off. And that's it. Now you know how to replace a friction ring on a half inch impact wrench. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like it, uh, as well as subscribe for more future DIY videos and how-to videos. And also, if you have any suggestions, different ways you can do this, better ways you can do it more easily, feel free to leave a comment, and we'd love to hear your feedback.